One take, one take, one take, one take, Tuesday. Hello everyone, welcome back to another One Take Tuesday, the show where everything is made up and the points don't matter. Today we have a battle against a guy in Ubers. His name is Con Lao One. I don't know why. That is just the name that he chose for himself. Do I have to discriminate? Not really, but I'm going to in some degree. Who knows what I'm really talking about? I don't, so would you? No, probably not. But the case of the point of the matter is that Genesect is in Ubers, and it has been there for a while, and it's still really good in Ubers, but the biggest point of the matter is that mine is better than his, no matter what you say, na 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 na. And the reason I stay in here is because I got my download boost first, so I kind of assumed I would be faster, uh, and then I kind of had this realisation that maybe he was going to be a sass Genesect, and I almost shit my pants, but then I realised, no... Uh, I guess I just won a speed tie, um, and I was kind of lucky there because he was scarfed as well. We're both the same speed. But I'm not sure if the download boost, me getting it first, indicated that I was going to win a speed tie or if that's just randomized. But it certainly worked out in my case because I kill him with a flamethrower turn one, going to Ferrothorn, who is uh, now going to try and lay down as many hazards as he possibly can. Um, get out on Leech Seed first of all on the Darkrai, which is pretty nice. It's like Darkrai usually is the one to sap all that. Well, it doesn't sap the HP, but it takes the HP away with bad dreams. And now it's like I'm giving him his bad dreams right back at him with some Leech Seed. So so it's pretty cool. I uh, end up protecting, first of all, just to scout whether he wants to Dark Void or what's going on with him, whether he wants to Focus Blast me. He decides to Dark Void, and I'm thinking, okay, I don't really have anything I want to go to sleep apart from Ferrothorn, so I might as well just stay in. Uh, fortunately for me, he actually switches up his moves, goes for Focus Blast, which I know I can take easily because I'm pretty fully specially defensive I think um, and this Ferrothorn is obviously in Ubers Ferrothorn does fantastically it's, it's unstabbed on Darkrai you know it's not going to be doing a huge amount and um, I can get up a layer of spikes uh, get some health back from Leech Seed get some health back from Leftovers and I can protect again uh, the cycle will continue and it's really really obvious that I'm going to protect again so he's going to switch out to Groudon um, to take the opportunity I guess to kill me with some kind of fire blast uh, probably the thing that makes most sense um the other move he could go for is Earthquake. I'm not sure if that would kill me, though, because I do have quite a bit of HP at this point, and the fact that I'm going to get a little bit more from Leftovers. However, you know, my Leech Seed is gone, so I can't really get anything from that, which is a bit of a shame, but what are you going to do? You can't win everything in life, you know? This isn't this isn't some kind of game. So I'm going to go into Giratina. Giratuna! Giratine Tune, uh, because it was the one who could take either Fire Blame Blast or an Earthquake Quake, and I took the Fire Blast, and it was great. Now, if I was a good guy, and I brought my substitute in Giratina, that's what I would have done, because I think uh, he was going to go for some kind of evil move like T-Wave or Toxic or something, because sometimes Groudons carry those. And he actually goes for Toxic, which is weird. Uh, actually, I would never really see Groudon carrying Toxic. It's more likely T-Wave, but um, yeah, Toxic works as well, I guess. It's just he felt like using it. And I smash him with Draco, uh, do a huge amount of damage, but I know now, obviously, he's going to go out into his Blissey. Uh, it was pretty much written across the sky, so I'm going to go for the Dragon Tail, smash that thing out of here. Get out, Blissey, you don't belong here. We don't serve your type. Uh, and so it's gone, thank god. Now goes back into Groudon. Um, I was considering going for Dragon Tail again, but I didn't want to take a hit. Uh, and then, you know, if he didn't switch out to Blissey, then I would be kind of screwed. I'm pretty sure he's not going to go back to Blissey because there is the threat of Dragon Tail. So I go for the Draco because I know it will take him out at this point. He is so low and it doesn't really matter for me, honestly. So I do get it rid of him, kill down the Growl down. It's finished, we're done. Uh, and I'm not in a particularly great position. I have minus four special attack. I'm like below half HP and I'm poisoned and it's been racking up for a while. But going to Arceus, I know that I can deal with this perfectly fine as long as it just Swords Dances. And it just Swords Dances so I can easily go for the Dragon Tail, phase it out. I don't know why he brought this thing in because I obviously I was going to kill it with Dragon, not kill it, take it out with Dragon Tail. And ladies and gentlemen, the best thing about Pokemon is that it screws you over. It's just great, isn't it? That's the best thing about Pokemon. It's So I missed Dragon Tail and now he has a free plus two attack. And then he Shadow Forces, which is... I i don't... No one does that. No one does that. But he does, apparently. 
So she had a forces and he's hidden, he's hiding away. He thinks he can get away with it. But I do have a Tyranitar, so because I'm dark, I can resist the Shadow Force. Go for a low kick when he comes back out of hiding. And hopefully bring him to the point where after a couple more life orbs, or maybe one more life orb recall, plus sand, he might die, is what I'm hoping. So go for the low kick. Um and it's going down, it's going down, it's going down. Arcee is pretty heavy, but only to 111, which I'm slightly disappointed by. However, he is gonna have to kill me with one thing here, which will rack up one turn of life orb plus one turn of sandstorm, which means by the next turn he should die. So I have somewhat managed to deal with this Arceus, even though I was screwed out of um, a dragon tail, which was rather unfortunate. But that's what happens, and that's all you can do. And that's all that she wrote or something. I don't know what I'm saying. This is a one-take juice. I can't edit this. I can't take out the stupid things I say. So go to Janisect, which apparently was not the best of ideas. I didn't really think about it, but I did have Ferrothorn left. So I could have easily gone into Ferrothorn and just clicked Protect and not risked being critted by an extreme speed. Thankfully, I don't get critted by one, but take a lot of unnecessary damage on Genesect that I didn't really need to uh, have done to me. Um, if I'd gone to Ferrothorn, it would have been perfectly fine. And then Ferrothorn could have dealt with Blissey by Leech Seeding and stuff, but whatever. I do uh, lock myself on the U-turn, though, which means I can go for it on Blissey and hopefully take it out. Maybe I... Nope. Nah, nah, the fates are not going to roll in my favour, and he's clearly going to go for a soft boil at this point. He knows that I'm going to U-turn out and do damage, so might as well get that HP back, you know. Uh, now, I was considering here going for a substitute, uh, because I was thinking, you know, maybe he's going to go for the toxic or something. I was like, nah, he's probably just going to ice beam, and I think, I well, at the time, I thought I had a Yarchi Berry. So I was like, if he's going to ice beam, that's final sword stance. I can take the ice beam with my Yarchi Berry intact, and then I can go for the earthquake and finish him off, and that'll be fine. Um, however, instead of doing that, he actually ends up going for toxic, which screws me a little bit, but it's not too big a deal, because we're kind of at the end game here. Um, so it's not like I'm going to be in for 100 turns and therefore dying to poison. So I do get off the plus two and I will be able to go for an earthquake to finish off the Blissey. Certainly no way it's going to live that from that much HP. Maybe if it was a little higher it could, but not at this range. Um, but unfortunate thing is I have to deal with the Latios that he has on his team, which is going to be faster than me. He's probably going to kill me with the Draco Meteor. So I'm not too pleased about that, but I guess I have to deal with it. There's nothing I can do. And the good thing about going for Draco <coughs> is that I can bring an Arceus Rock afterwards because he has minus special defense. So I decided I'm going to die here, but no! I have the Haban Berry and I completely forgot I don't have a Yarchi Berry. I have a Haban Berry and can you up there? No, well, no, that was kind of... Um, a bit of an anticlimax because uh, even with a Haban Berry, Garchomp has no chance of living like a Specs or Soldu. I think this guy's running Specs, Latios, when you could run Soldu and Ubers. It makes no sense to me. Uh, but there's no way Garchomp was going to live one of those. I was just kind of building it up. It was funny. Uh, whatever. I do now go into Arceus Rock, who at this point is literally going to seal the deal. Um, all I need to do is get behind a substitute, get up a Calm Mind, uh, sub again, recover, get my wealth, my wealth, my health back to full. I'm back in the business. Arceus Rock. Uh, and I can just Judgment and finish off his last two guys, which are Darkrai, and of course the Latios, which he uh, just tried to keep staying in and using Draco with, and that's that. And I finish it with Arceus Rock, who's fucking great. I love Arceus Rock. It's one of my favourite guys. It's especially when you're going up against something that's choiced and special in the sand, because you already have the mammoth special defence boost uh, from being a rock type, and then you just kind of sub on the move. And, oh, it's so good, guys. It's so fucking good. I love it fantastic one of my favorite guys to use in ubers but that's gonna be it for today that's gonna be my one take tuesday slightly incoherent one but i guess that's the point of one take tuesday i don't get to go back and spend time and caress it and care about it and edit and tweak it and whatever and bollocks so here you go it's shit on a platter i hope you enjoyed it and tasted nice if it did you can hit the like button it'll be good. If you didn't, then you can just do what you want, and I'll see you in the next video! Okay, bye!